You cannot accomplish what's in this bill without a gun registry. This bill will not fix the tragedies that we face. Unfortunately, laws don't fix most of the tragedies that we face as Americans. I have a lot of young girls who work in my restaurant and we needed an equalizer. I'm five foot tall. I barely weigh 100 pounds. I need something against a stronger potential aggressor to defend myself with. Talk about women's rights. Don't take my right away to protect myself. The reality is universal background checks do not stop mass shootings. We do not have mass shootings because of a lack of background checks. The government is never going to know what weapons I own. Let me be clear about that. It's not going to happen. We have a God-given right to defend our families, defend our state, and defend ourselves against tyranny, and we will do that regardless of the inerrant policies that this Democratic Congress is trying to jam through. Which means that thousands, most likely thousands of people, law-abiding people, were falsely denied their right to exercise their Second Amendment liberty. And now what do Democrats want to do? They want to say, oh, oh, oh wait a minute. That all happened in a three-day time period. We're going to extend that for 10 days because we know the government bureaucracy will get so much better in 10 days. The majority of individuals in prison for committing crimes with firearms obtain their firearms through theft, the underground market, family members, and the like. They steal them. They buy them from other people that stole them. They don't obey the law. That's why they're criminals. So quit penalizing the American people. It does nothing to address how violent criminals actually obtain firearms, nor does the bill make it harder for them to obtain a firearm. That's because criminals don't follow the law. That's why they're called criminals. What this bill does is threaten everyday American citizens with up to a year in prison and a $100,000 fine for exercising their Second Amendment right and doing common practices. This bill will not make our community safer. There's gonna be more unauthorized weapons out there and there's gonna be less people out there defending themselves in our community. That's what this legislation does. It disarms America. This bill seeks to punish people that wanna follow the law. That's why today I'm calling on my colleagues across the aisle to stand up for law-abiding citizens and adopt H.R. 38, the Concealed Carry Reciprocity Act. They say that photo IDs, excessive registration, paperwork, disenfranchises disproportionately minorities and the poor when they go to exercise their right to vote. But today with HR 8 and the next bill that's coming up, they are doing exactly that. Increased fees, increased paperwork, more photo IDs. How does that not disenfranchise, not just all Americans, but disproportionately minorities and the poor? What fix them is dealing with the human condition that unfortunately inhabits people in our country. We should be working on that not stripping the constitutional rights from our fellow citizens.